What's going on, World 2 family? My name is Herman Perez. Today's lesson, we're gonna be doing an OLED video TIG all the way out. Uh, this is the pipe that we did on the video I did previously, the socket flange video. But today we got a special guest, Saul Trujillo. How's it going on, guys? He's a fitter at HP Piping Solutions. He's one of my old friends. Today he's actually gonna be doing the fitter for me and I will be doing the weld. All right, guys, so now we're starting on our route. Running at 110 amp or 105. My technique for the route, back feed, which is my favorite technique. The rod that I'm using is a 70S6 1 8 just for this video. Sometimes it's not a, it's not always gonna be 70S6. Sometimes it'll be 70S2. It's just what they call for. But for right now, I'm choosing to do a 70S6 rod. Now for these OLEDs, you gotta have a certain stick out so the tungsten can reach in there and burn the walls so you actually have to stick it out it's all about preference and how you feel comfortable about sticking it out Whenever you grind out your tack carefully, so you grinding more stay inside in the well. Now for my root guys, I did it at 105, but when I come to the tie-in, I like to turn it up so I can push a little bit more wire in there for, to close it up, so I can get a good tie-in. My tie-in, I do a keyhole dip method. Now you have two ways you can do your root. You can either freehand it or you can walk, walk it, which sometimes I mix it up. It just depends how I feel on doing it at the moment. All right guys, so now we're gonna start filling it up. I'm gonna run it at 150 amps with the number 10 cup all the way out. Sometimes I do change the, the cup size. It just all depends on how big or wide or how comfortable it is for me. But for now, I'm gonna use a number 10. I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to go half on this side and then I'm going to switch around and do the other half. Now, an OLED, it is all about being able to transition real quick. So you got to be able to readjust real quick and with your tape wig as well. Now, you don't necessarily have to uh, walk the cup or wiggle. You can freehand it as well. It's all on you and how you feel comfortable about doing it. But me, I feel comfortable walking it or wiggling the cup all the way around. Like I said, it's all about you readjusting quickly. Alright guys, so now we're starting on our cap. We're gonna do a two bead cap. Start from the bottom, work your way to the top. For my amps, I'm running at 140 amps.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Socket OLED weld, uh, take all the way out with a 2B cap. Uh, for the root, remember 105 to 110 amps, fills 150, and the cap 140. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, also, please remember to follow us on all social media pages, uh, at WellTube, on Instagram, and on YouTube. And I want to give a special thanks to my boy, Saul Trujillo. Uh, anything you want to say, bro? It was an honor to be on here. Hope y'all liked the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, well, there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and y'all yeah, have a good one. Thank you.